In my defense, I was left unsupervised. What's up, Flock and Model Railroaders? This is Alan with Mason Dixon, and this is a basement renovation update. Uh, just had the electrical inspection, which was uh, last week on Wednesday, and that passed. So I was okay to move ahead to the next phase, which is insulation. And as you can see from the wall behind me, everything is fully insulated at this time. So I think I'm ready for my next inspection. I believe there's another inspection. I'm confused on all the inspections. Uh, but if I get the insulation okayed, then I'll start drywall. This project just seems to go on and on forever and ever. Uh, this definitely isn't the hobby that I wanted to have. Um, so hopefully this is one step closer to what I ultimately want to be. And then, man, it's just taken forever to get here. And looking back at all the hassles, I mean, I'm an expert at coming up with distractions for not working on the basement. And some of those distractions were actually prepping to work on the basement. Like this stuff isn't my profession. I don't necessarily do this as a as a professional. So I'm just DIYing this. So a lot of this is me learning how to do it and using study time to do that and procrastinating. And of course doing it wrong and having to redo it, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. This is this is the world that we live in. But one step closer. Hopefully drywall is the next step after this next inspection. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy to get to this point where electrical rough in is done and we can, I can move on to the next stuff. So hopefully drywall will be arriving shortly. Um, and that's going to be another project. I'm sure that's going to, going to take some time. Although I have a lot of people who have said they wanted to help me and a lot of people that have helped me up until this point. Um, the folks in my model railroad club, um, some friends from work, uh, Everyone that's that stopped by to help, um, people that lend me tools, people that lend me uh, equipment, you know, the, I do have a lot of help. So I'm not doing this on my own, thankfully. I do a lot of it. But drywall, I seem to have a pretty good crew. I do have the drywall lift too. So if I want to do a few pieces on my own, I'm not going to break my back for the most part. I have the tool to lift it and hold it in place. Um, but I have a bunch of friends who want to help with drywall. So that should be a pretty good crew. And if I get the right number of pieces and the right, uh, uh, you know, all the stuff that I need to do it, I think I can knock that out pretty quick, hopefully. So anyway, let's take a look around and I'll show you uh, the whole basement now kind of boxed in. So it looks, it it's definitely feels like a different space. Um, you know, originally this room, this room is going to be my office slash uh, hobby room, so to speak. And this room was originally supposed to be a lot wider. So this wall was going to be moved down that way. And I was going to actually do a wood shop in this space as well. But once I cut a few things in here uh, before this construction was done and during construction, the amount of dust that comes up from saws, I decided to uh, make this, this room that we're in now smaller um, and move my cutting all outside. So out that door there is where my table saw is and my miter saw and the sanders and stuff like that. There'll be some equipment in here, but it'll just be model model equipment like 3D printers, maybe my laser printer or laser cutter rather, and uh, maybe a sander and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, storage is back here to my right. So that's just uh, storage. And that's where the electrical panel is. <clears throat> so this is the main room uh, that we modeled. Again, this wall, I must have tried moving this a couple different times. On paper, I think it was it was over here, but once I drew it, I I marked it on the on the concrete floor, 
And I was like, it's it's got to be a little bit over here. So I like how this is. This is like my little hallway. And then this is the room that will hold the future model railroad. And this is a, uh, I think this, this space is 15 by, I want to say 45. So it's, it's very large. And, and I'm joking to some of my model railroad buddies and saying, you know, I'll get all this done, drywalled, drop ceiling put in, all the electrical done, all the inspections, and then I'll just have a shelf layout. It'll just be along that, that wall over there. Um, this is the room known as the cat room. And the cats stay in this little cage here. This is the cat hotel. So they're, they're not allowed to free roam anymore. This room here is a future bathroom. That's not where the sink will go. It'll go in the corner over there, uh, commode over here. And this door goes to the other side of the storage room. And then this is the steps. So these are all done. Uh, obviously, finish work has to be done, of course, too. So it's very dark up there. But it's all insulated now. And that's about all. So thanks, everyone. Um, keep watching. I'll get you another update as soon as I can. But uh, if anyone wants to help with drywall, uh, definitely let me know. And uh, thanks, everyone. I'll talk to you later.